Live na po ba tayo, Miss Nan? Live na, ma'am. Okay. Magandang magandang hapon po, mga Kapix Pro. It's Friday once again. Alas Pix Pro na. Ang bilis ng panahon. Isang linggo na naman po ang lumipas sa atin. And hopefully everyone is okay. Everyone is fine. Everyone is having a great week. Kahit na medyo mahirap ang panahon. Ito po ako sinisipon in uubo. But still, the show must go on. Everyone must know what about cybersecurity is all about. And syempre, this time around, isa na naman sa ating regular na kapamilya. One of our ever-reliable tech partners will grace our program for this episode of Pintuang Cybersecurity. Pero bago ko sila formal na ipakilala mamaya. Kumustahin muna natin sila. Sir Homer, kamusta po? Hello, Miss Arlene. Magandang uh, hapon. Happy New Year. <laughs> Happy New Year. Ano Ito. po, ilang araw din na hindi namin kayo nakita pero ang lines of communication natin mainit pa din. So, kamusta Ganyan. po ang inyong bakasyon? Nagbakasyon ba? Okay naman, oo. I mean, naka-refresh naman tayo kasi uh, province, oo. Nag Nagbakasyon, ilang days. So far, okay naman. I mean, back to ano na tayo. This 2024. Back for work. Back to reality. <laughs> back to reality. Okay. Yes. Yes. Tama. Family time. Importante yeah. pa rin natin naman pa rin naman sa mga cybersecurity professionals natin yan. Regardless oh. of how ano how busy we are, there should always be a time for our family. Tama. And we have a new face. Yes, so, sa mga definitely. Sa mga representative Yon. ng Fortinet. No, Sir Jermaine, mamaya na kita i-introduce ang formal pero kamusta po kayo? <laughs> Sure, sure. Yeah, okay naman. Um, uh, yeah, happy new year. <laughs> All good naman so far, you know. Super uh, of course, sa cybersecurity laging busy, right? Lagi tayong uh, mini review and of course, lagi tayong yeah. nag-analyze. Yeah, 'yan ang buhay natin eh. <laughs> <laughs> Kamusta naman po ang Fortinet? Uh during the last quarter of last year, mas ano po ba? Uh, naging easy breezy ba? Uh, ang pag-handle natin ng ating usual task o up to the last minute, medyo may challenging pa din. Okay, so far naman, pagdating naman sa cybersecurity, of course, no, marami tayong tinutulungan na uh, mga organizations, no, governments, no, enterprises. No, of course, pagdating dyan sa security, continuous yan. Eh, no? uh, continuous collaboration, partnership, no, laging ganyan. So, yeah, so during yung mga mga ilang quarters natin eh of course no nakatulong tayo at nakasuport tayo lagi sa ating mga uh, customers partners no and of course yung mga collaborations natin yep good to know sir sir ah ito may mga bumabati na if i may uh, magandang hapon mga Cupcakes Pro from our national president and board of director press release Paul Bastro hindi po sila maka-join sa atin ngayon and as much as they want to kasi may ibang event din po silang pinupuntahan but they are sending their regards po of course sa ating uh, guests for today and of course to our regular viewers and pinapaabot din niya hello Jermaine E. Flores hi daw sir Hi po. Ayan, yeah, magandang uh, yes, afternoon. Yeah. Yes po. Uh, good afternoon everyone, Kapix Pro from Randel. Good PM po sa lahat from Gabriel Cipriano. Uh, from Christo Christopher Son, Dizon, Laguatan. Good afternoon, Kapix Pro. Uh, again, from Gabriel Cipriana, Cipriano, one of the best talaga, Fortinet. Ganda po ng training nila sa CyberSec, talagang focus sila. Ah, this is a very good validation. Yeah, uh, and ano ha, uh, watch you, out you. because thank we you. are collaborating with Fortinet as well in terms of training. So, yes. isa yan sa paghahandaan natin for 2024. Of course, one of our BOD is watching. BP Sheila, magandang hapon. Hello mga Kapix Pro. Hi, Fortinet team. Hello daw po. And Hello. watching from Olonga po City. So, ang galing. Ang dami na agad. Ang dami nanonood. Okay. VP Ricky Benipayo, magandang hapon mga Kapex Pro and Fortinet. Yes, sir. si VP Ricky is also instrumental with our partnership with Fortinet. Magandang hapon. Salamat sa support, Homer. Thanks, Fortinet team from Press Release. Maraming salamat daw ko. Always, ma'am. Always, Miss. Well, and hopefully, uh, ano <laughs> yeah. pa, uh, when we, ano, the, the collaboration is just more than the KC alone, makakasama yes. rin natin ang Fortinet sa ating mga uh, gawain, okay. aktividades sa ating uh, community. So yes, watch out for that. Yes, yeah. definitely. Si Sir Jermaine. Oh. At saka si Miss Mel. <laughs> Kung nasaan yeah. ka man ngayon, Miss Mel, kasama ka. <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah, agree. So, sir, okay, okay, okay po. Mukhang ang dami nyo ng expectators. Madam, paano po magpa-membership? Later, we will address that. Uh, Regarding the key, uh, regarding questions about the membership, about Flex Pro and what we can do to help you, 
explore cybersecurity, uh, kindly give us, send us a message sa ating Facebook page and we will do our very best to get back to you soon. So sir, mukhang malaki-laki na ang ating audience. Ang dami na. Daming fans ng Fortinet. Ang laki nung reach agad ng ating EGM for your uh, for your presentation. So be, without uh, so much words, kasi hindi kulang, kulang ang words to describe maganda yung topic. The topic that we're going to talk about today would be the threat landscape. Ano ba ang threat predictions natin for 2024? And ang ganda lang kasi last year, you showcased the the threat environment. Is it? Tama po ba? For 2023. So what are we going to expect for 2024? So mga Capex Pro, uh, I will leave the floor to the experts. First, with Sir Jeremy Torres, the systems engineer of Fortinet, and of course, with one of the managers of Fortinet, Sir Homer Javier. So, magandang hapon po, mga Kapix Pro. Yes. Th thanks, Miss Arlene. And magandang hapon, mga Kapix Pro, sa lahat ng mga live audiences natin. So, we are again happy to be part of this, uh, you know, kwentuhang cybersecurity, mga Kapix Pro. So, before I hand over this uh, floor to Jermaine to discuss, so, yung topics natin for this afternoon is more on the you know mga threat predictions no what happened last year in the past and any mga predictions and uh, ano yung na-predict natin moving forward like this 2024 no ano yung mga kasi lahat yan i believe may explain mami ani Jeremy no nag-evolve lahat naman eh sa technology no even yung mga hackers to hit yung mga you know mga good guys na bad guys na tinatawag natin even that even them nag evolve so explain mamaya ni Jermaine um what we can you know expect for this 2024 and you know ano yung mga best practices na kailangan nating gawin of course para hindi tayo you know mabiktima ng mga bad guys na tinatawag natin but i think i i i, I won't go further on that um i think um let me introduce yung um uh, our system engineer of Fortinet Philippines, of course, Jermaine Flores. He will be, you know, the one presenting this afternoon. Thank you again. Turn over to Jermaine. Thank you. All right. Uh, thank you, Homer. Ayan. So, magandang hapon, no, sa lahat sa atin. No? Uh, first of all, I would like to thank uh, PixPro, no, for having us today. And, of course, um, letting us, of course, no, uh, present, no, makipagkwentuhan sa ating mga taga uh, Pix Pro, no, with regards to about, of course, the predictions, no, when it regards dun sa 2024 threat uh, predictions ni uh, Fortinet. Okay, so let me just share my screen. And there you go. Hopefully, uh, visible na sa end nila, uh, Homer. Yeah. Looking yes. good na po. Looking good. Okay, great. So yeah, um pagkukwentuhan natin ngayong uh, hapon na to is about um uh, I'll be sharing about the 14 net 2024 uh, threat prediction, no. Well, it's easy to just go ahead and say things are going to get bad, di ba? Yun ang tingin natin, you know, with regards to the predictions, no. In fact, uh we're going to have more challenges, no, and problem when it comes to cybersecurity, no, because everyone is using technology nowadays, right? No. And in technology na to is sometimes no, we're pushing the limits, no, yung boundaries, because of course we're adapting, di ba? We're adapting innovation, digital uh, innovation, work from anywhere, right? Yung mga ganyan, no? And applications everywhere, no? As long as we adapt yung mga trends then, of course, nag increase din yung threat landscape, no? It continuously evolves, right? More data are being created and um, consumed every day, no? So obviously, just in volume perspective alone, no? Uh, we're going to to expect no things to be increased, right? Kung baga mas lalong mag increase yung mga parts na yan, no? yung uh, consumption of data, no? uh, cre creating data. No? But of course, uh, at this moment, no, ang, um, what I like about this threat uh, prediction is that we put our thinking hat, right? No, And we think where technology is going, di ba? Isipin natin sa bang uh, papunta mga technologies ngayon, no? Or uh, what about the prediction or pagdating sa exploitable um, uh, dun sa mga vulnerabilities, right? Ano yung mga gagawin ng mga bad guys, no? Whether it's uh, nation states or financial crime, right? So like in a business perspective, no? Since IT is like a critical uh, partner of an organization, no? It is advantage for us to have a glimpse, a preview ba, kumbaga... Uh, maka, matignan natin, masilip natin no, what to expect this year or uh, the coming years no? so we can you know 
prepare in advance. Okay? So, yeah. So, siguro I just uh, like to share saan ba namin, uh, saan ba nanggaling yung uh, data namin when it comes to the 2024 threat predictions. Okay? So, let me share to you the our, of course, threat intelligence on you know, the FortiGuard Labs uh, threat intel. No, this is actually Fortinet's elite cybersecurity threat intelligence and research organization. So, a pioneer and security industry innovator. No, FortiGuard Labs develop and utilize uh, of you know, edge uh, uh, technologies like machine learning, AI technologies to provide customers with timely, consistent, top-rated protection. Okay, and of course, actionable threat. Uh, intelligence. Okay? Then, FortiGuard Labs collect data through telemetry gathered from 14 millions of sensors, no? millions of millions of sensors deployed globally. So, dyan ang gagaling yung mga data namin. And this actually gives the FortiGuard Labs uh, visibility into real-world threats no? that organization face today. Right? So, yun ang nakikita namin. No? From those telemetry uh, to collaboration with partners, and one of those is the Cyber Threat Alliance, no, uh, or uh, CTA, no. This is actually an industry's first formally organized group of cyber uh, security practitioners. So, nandiyan yung, of course, yung mga cyber security professionals, no, vendors working together in good faith, of course, to share threat information and improve uh, global defense against advanced cyber attacks, no, or adversaries. Then, of course, ultimately protecting organization customers you no know, <clears throat> in real time okay so yeah let's move to the evolution of old favorites so let's reflect back muna no, from uh, 2022 to 2023 predictions right so some key uh, predictions no mga time na yun, no, that actually uh, pro also provide us informations and probably yung mga informations na to yung mga naging scenarios or mga uh, naging uh, breaches and threats, right? This actually will also change you know, yung uh, 2024 natin and beyond, right? It's, uh, it's going to influence, of course, uh, the threat landscape of uh, 2024, okay? Right? So for the past several years, no, the, uh, there's actually the, the rise of what we call the APC or Advanced Persistent uh, Cyber Criminals, no? Uh, ito yung, uh, we predict the growth of, of course, new vulnerabilities, right? Combined with uh, pre-attack activities among adversaries, no? That would, of course, increase yung tinatawag nating expansion of uh, CAS as a service, right? Or yung tinatawag nating um, cyber uh, criminal as a service sa market. No? I'm not sure if everyone is familiar with um, cyber criminal as a service, pero ito kasi ay actually, um, ito is actually a service, Right, so this is where, like for example, no, uh, a cyber criminal, a developer, no, an expert, someone might develop a ransomware kit, no, capable of course in encrypting files, where victim must pay ransom. Di ba ganyan naman ang, ang uh, ransomware, no? Uh, it encrypts the files, it ransom it. Tas at the same time, kailangan natin magbayad, no? Then they will sell that kit, no, yung program na yon, yun na develop nila to other low level cyber criminals. Thus enabling the them to launch an attack, right? So this way, the original uh, individual who developed the tools, no, or the service is able to profit along as the individual who purchase it, right? So it's very lucrative, no, for everyone's involved, no. In fact, ang, uh, of course, the implications nito is of course pretty simple, no. Yung CAS, no, which is C A A S, no, has already been contributing. Uh, spike in cyber attack, no, and it will continue to do so, right? So, if you can imagine, no, if someone is selling a a, a developed ransomware, right? So, kailangan maging competitive din yung ransomware na yon, no? Kailangan maging sophisticated ng ransomware na yon, right? At kailangan maging pervasive then, no, and stealthy, right? So, kailangan ganun ang uh, ma-produce ng isang expert, um expert threat actors no para at least maging mabenta yung ransomware niya so ibig sabihin no uh, yung maging mag may encounter natin mga type of ransomware it will become more sophisticated and pervasive da, than ever before right so ito yung business model nila like us no we use saas paas no yung mga platform as a service right infrastructure as a service 
same din sa kanila no like for example ran ransomware as a service so meron sila mga ganyan no dos um ddos as a service phishing uh, kit no yan so meron din silang ganoon no kung ginagamit natin yung mga um aya sa as service ganoon din sa kanila okay yan so unfortunately for cyber security practitioner no it's only the tip of the iceberg right so apt activities is on the rise in fact no in the first half of 2023 right kung uh, na check niyo yung ano yung uh, last uh, video of, na uh, na produce no uh, we witness uh, around 14 or 30% of 138 groups that might are tracks being active during this time okay so of course nandun yung mga type of attacks no and Siguro looking ahead, no, more of these ATP groups will become more active, no, even beyond 138 identified by MITRE, right? Um, of course, engaging yung uh, dual cyber crime, cyber espionage, probably mas marami tayong activities na makikita na ganyan, no? Um, the reason behind that is, of course, the post-COVID, no? I have multiple client na nakita ko during the... Siyempre, during the COVID, di ba, nasa bahay tayo, nasa work from anywhere tayo, then suddenly, bumalik tayo sa office. And ang reality noon is that yung mga devices that coming back to office, no, may mga ano na pala, may mga malware na pala, compromise na pala, no? So yun ang ginagamit access to the uh, to the network. And I've seen a lot of uh, a lot of activities sa mga parts na yan, no? Doon sa mga uh, events na yan. And another part is of course yung current uh, geopolitical issues, di ba? Yung war, no? Uh, even uh, multipolar world, no? Yung part na yan, di ba? Of course we've seen uh, countries, no? Powerful uh, countries that will shape an increasingly complex global system, right? And countries racing to innovate, right? Um, regulate AI, no? Yung mga AI technologies. Probably yung mga AL will become more important in 2024, right? And also, yung mga elections, no? Of course, right now, di ba? 2024, meron election. I believe that's US election. Then probably in 2025, meron din. So yung mga event na yan, of course, that will also uh, interest, no? Yung mga threat actors. Okay? Yeah. So, yeah. Then cyber criminal groups will also continue to diversify their target attacks, no? Yung mga operational technologies, isa rin yan sa mga... Uh, nakikita natin. In fact, you know, if you can check, di ba, meron din mga tools right now that being used by uh, cyber criminals. Like, one of the newest tools is yung mga Flipper Zero. If you check that, no, this Flipper Zero, dati, ang kailangan natin to, uh, to uh, access, uh, no, to, to run a uh, malicious code, ginagawa natin, we plug a USB to the to a, to a laptop, to a device, right? But with Flipper Zero, it will just use, you know, uh, Bluetooth you know, to execute the command. And that's it. No compromise in device mo. So yeah. So this prediction, uh, 2022 to 2023 prediction is actually confirmed. No, so again, ito na yung scenario. And moving forward, this prediction is all we can use this prediction as an insight for 2024. Okay. Now the next part is of course the uh, crime turf war, right? Uh, between of course you must cyber criminals. So today we're seeing just. Uh, a multiple of cyber criminal or cyber cyber groups no trying to infiltrate the same attack a uh, same target in a short period of time no then deploying ransomware variants like for example yung hive lockpit or quantum no eto mga to is of course kapag um nowadays kapag na breach ka na attack ka no ano nangyari is hindi lang isang group multiple groups will also try to penetrate your defenses since nakita nila na oh may weak point that's but that's actually validating na pwede silang maka entry at mag-uunahan sila diyan no so we can assume that other cyber criminals are closely monitoring communications on the dark web right so in that case kapag na breach na tayo dapat meron na tayong uh, ginagawang action no so uh, a quick response to a breach is very important nowadays because again no once you you're 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 being breached or na infiltrate na tayo or na pasok na yung defenses natin, other cyber criminals will try to do so. No, will try to all, also access your uh, systems, right? So we saw uh, roughly two thirds of all categorized MITRE attack techniques were actively being used, you no, know, in attack in the first half of this year. 
uh, with defense evasion being the top tactics and and uh, process ejection being used across the board no? for evasion on, on compromise system. Okay, so another thing, of course, once na compromise tayo, one of the things na ginagawa ng mga attackers is, of course, no, to exfiltrate data. Credentials, no, is very important, no. In fact, credentials nowadays is binibenta na yan. It, it, um, data is considered as a, as a gold, right? Now, there's also what we call the broker as a service where uh, tum broker as a service na to is actually offering data, no, information about um about organizations about employees no and kasama dito yung stolen credentials right so it very uh, usually often no nakikita natin uh when regards to credentials diba we use the same credentials sa multiple sites no and that's actually one of the problem no uh we use our same credentials sa systems natin no pagdating sa works sa organization accessing those applications and at the same time we use it also sa social media right and other uh website the problem sometimes no with with domains and websites no pag tinignan mo kasi ang isang website minsan sa isang website hindi lang yan isang servers it's a multiple servers right minsan yung servers na yon is not owned by the by the organization ang question diyan is how well maintained ba yung server na yon right gan ba ka maintain yung server na yon uh, yung ba is walang vulnerabilities now sometimes yun na nagagamit ng mga attackers no they they can uh, you know penetrate that uh, servers that connected to the main servers and probably by by API and trust between those servers they will use it you no know, and uh, try to of course get yung mga informations and one of those probably the the credentials right so these credentials are being sold to the dark web by of course uh, so marketplace nila no and this is uh, one of the services na uh, maaring magbenta no no yung mga broker as a service um, na makikita natin sa mga dark uh, dark web right okay yan so another thing is of course uh, laundering no money laundering of course previously we predicted that cyber criminals would uh, use the laundry as a service no or to wash their ill gotten funds right so Ito rin yung isa sa mga activities nowadays. Of course, after ransomware, right? They're encrypted data. Nakakuha sila ng uh, money through uh, cryptocurrency, right? And after that, at ang next na gagawin nila is of course to disperse yung money. And one of the techniques that they use is actually chip mixer, right? Isa yan, no? Or yung mga tinatawag na tumblers, right? Yan yung, um, uh, yan yung uh, ginagamit ng mga uh, of course, hackers or threat actors not to disperse yung um, uh, money or yung funds nila or yung ill-got, ill-gotten uh, funds. Okay? So, probably, no, in the future, no, makikita pa natin to. And, uh, and of course, no, uh, there would be a new exchanges that will establish for uh, laundering, right? And of course, recruiting campaign for money mules will use social engineering at the, uh, engineering techniques from profiling. Okay? Yeah, and of course, uh, everyone's favorite AI, right? The weaponization of AI. AI is actually adding fuel, no, to an already ranging threat landscape, right? It actually enables the attacker to uh, enhance every stages of their attack, no, to do better and faster uh, than before, right? So as predicted, we're seeing cyber criminals increasingly use AI to support multitude of malicious activities ranging from of course yung uh, thwarting algorithm no mimicking human behavior but of course it doesn't stop there no kumbaga marami pang marami pang techniques that we are anticipating from uh, ai additional done is of course the attacker will use ai to conduct uh, generative profiling so when we say generative profiling this is more on scraping social media profile right so right now nowadays halos lahat use social media no so this is where attackers can you know gain information in in fact they can also gain personal identifier information no that could easily turn into of course um uh it can, they can uh, you know use this information to access your uh let's say uh, social media accounts no um of course yung mga sites na binibisit natin no and this is a, this actually yet another way for malicious actor to have um, to have a research done for them no, to execute an attack. So meaning before 
alam naman natin, di ba, when it comes to attackers, they do reconnaissance. Na nandun tayo sa stage na uh, once you're targeted, of course, they need informations. No? As much as possible, kung personal info identifier information, that would be good. And another thing is, of course, yung uh, data credentials natin. No? Yan, combine it as a service. So once na meron sila nun sa market, of course, they can just you know pay 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 uh, for that information and that's it. No? You can now access um, the applications or, or the assets that we have, right? Then we'll see more AI chain attacks no, emerge, which cybersecurity criminals use actionable models to make their attacks chain more modular. Meaning, for example, no, they might be using machine learning no, during reconnaissance stage or reconnaissance page, chain it to AI-driven weaponization or AI deployment no, of, of the uh, specific payloads, right? So time to time, no, ang isa sa... Uh, model natin eh, for the cybersecurity professionals or sa mga defender is of course mean time to detect. But for the threat actors, it's more on ang approach nila is uh, reduce their time to compromise. Right? Ganun ang model nila. So using AI, you know, this actually helps them uh, to be to execute it faster and better. You know, to compromise a system uh, faster and better. Right? So cyber criminals will also use power up or password spraying right you password brute force no stuffing no praying are a popular ways to for attackers to identify steal and sell credentials right so kanina no na mention ko that uh, some of us use the same password for every um uh uh pages no or for, for every uh social media account and even systems right so actually that's not a good idea right because of course then of the day, maaring ma-attack tayo, no? maaring ma-compromise yung credentials natin. It can be used for this type of method, yung mga tinatawag nating spraying, right? And of course, uh, one of the favorite of uh, the threat actors no, or the bad guys is, of course, poisoning. No? And this is also something that uh, can be used by the cyber uh, criminals, no? intentionally tampering with AI model training data right themselves no so pwede nilang gawin yan no to influence yung training model ng isang ai system okay yan so cyber criminals will continue to rely on specific fan favorites no yun na discuss natin kanina yun yung mga confirmed cases no confirmed tools that being used by the cyber criminals no so time to time they will still use it to achieve their goals no however modern um, attackers have more tools at their disposal, right? Na today than ever before, no, including yung growing of um, um, CAAS, right? Yung cybercrime as a service and AI-driven technology to help them work smarter and faster at every stage of the attack. No? So cyber criminals industry evolves, which uh, we see distinct no, uh, new attack trends emerging in 2024 and beyond. No? So here's a uh, a look no, at the several anticipated development that will keep cybersecurity teams everywhere on their knees. So, yeah, siguro if there are a popularity contest no, with regards to the type of attack, uh, probably you will agree no, that ransomware would really, uh, surely earn the top ranks. Diba? Pag na, uh, I mean, with regards to ransomware, nakita naman natin the um, explosion of ransomware attack no? skyrocketed, making every uh, organization, regardless of the size of indus or industry, no, uh, naging target din talaga ng ransomware. In fact, according to H1 uh, 2023 40 Guard Love Threat Landscape Report, no, ransomware activity was 13 times higher, no, 13 times higher at the end of the first half of 2023. Okay. Yeah. So despite of 78% of uh, business leaders saying that they felt prepared to defend against ransomware, half still fell victims no, to the attack or to the ransomware attack. So um, attackers will continue no, level up, leveling up their, their game, no, embracing more sophisticated or complex strain, right, to infiltrate the of course the network. No, sample yun, yung mga this wipe this wiping ma uh, malwares, right? Yung uh, um, nowadays meron ding malware that anti-analyze. No? Kumbaga hindi mo siya basta-basta ma-analyze. Meron ng mga ganong type of uh, uh, strains. No? As a result, we anticipate cybercrime will become more aggressive. No? Expand both their perspective targets list 
and their uh, playbook taking uh, a go uh, go big or go home approach no we'll see adversaries turn uh, their focus on critical infrastructure such as uh, health cares right yung mga utilities no seeking to uh yung target yung mga of course probably uh mga critical infrastructure like sa mga government no to disrupt right and of course eto kasi may malaking impact to pagdating sa society natin no so in fact how many times niyo ba nakita na about news about water facilities being up in fact if, if you type in no or you search sa google no you will see uh, a lot of news about it right makikita natin yon no and it's very scary why imagine if a threat actor gains access to plc yung mga controllers no yung mga programmable logic controllers na yan and alter a chemical dosing no so probably we'll be drinking water that you know that will uh burns our organs no so nakakatakot no so you now to disrupt or take down a nation no you'll just need to attack or breach a critical infrastructure right utility power and communication so eto yung mga target nowadays of uh, cyber criminals of course lucrative at the same time no uh, malaking impact of when it comes to of course society okay yeah so there isn't a silver bullet no to protect against ransomware no beyond implementing the right technologies and process you can take several proactive steps to enhance your security posture no uh, steps to fortify your organizations are already no uh, readily available one of those is of course you um of course you must security professionals natin no sa mga organizations uh, we need to advance their skill sets no uh, use third party uh, uh test not process or playbooks no to help identify the potential security gap right in fact katulad ng mga tinatawag nating incident response management that is very important risk assessment no uh, gap assessment yeah and tapos yung uh, disaster recovery, business continuity, right? And my important and yan, um, uh, processes that also we need to implement. So in case na merong incident and breach, no, at least yung mga um, stakeholders, no, yung mga ITs and security, they know what to do because merong process in place. So that's very important. no. So we need to, of course, level up our uh, playbooks as, at the same time. Okay. Yeah, and of course, a uh, zero day for uh, a new uh, day for uh, zero days, right? So as organization continue to expand the number of platform application, marami tayong inadapt digitalization, no? Applications, cloud, right? Meron tayong mga tinatawag na hybrid type of environment, no? That actually supports the daily business operation. So cyber criminals have new amples, no? New opportunities to uncover and exploit software vulnerabilities. So yan ang tinitignan nila. No? Um, we observed no, a, a record number of zero-day and new common vulnerability CVs emerged in 2023. No? And that count's still rising, right? So, yeah. So in fact, meron, dito, meron ding isang, uh, yung, if you heard about movie uh, transfer hack, no? that impacted at least 60 millions of individual, right? Yan, isa sa mga largest type of hack of the year. No, so zero day attacks won't be uh, slowing anytime soon. No, in fact, we expect uh, to see zero day uh, brokers, cyber criminal group that's selling zero day. So, kanina we mentioned no, um, cyber crime as a service. Ngayon, may isa sa expectation is what we call the zero day brokers. So, this is more on focus targeted, no, to of course discover zero day type of attack. And alam naman natin, pag uh, zero-day type of attack yan or zero-day type of vulnerabilities yan, no, this is very valuable to the hackers or the, uh, the threat actors. No? And one of the steps that organization needs to take, no, of course, kapag may meron mga zero vulnerabilities that we discover, no, probably ang kailangan natin yan is, of course, of course, conduct a vulnerability scanning, implement a smart patch strategy, no, and... Another thing is, of course, we need to disclose it, right? Uh, kailangan maging ano tayo dyan, um, uh, transparent tayo, no? For us to, of course, mitigate it and at the same time, resolve that vulnerabilities, no? And engineering teams also have an opportunity to help slow the growth of zero-day uh, exploit, no? Yung mga developers natin by enhancing their software development life cycle or SDL methodologies, right? 
while of course cyber criminal use yung mga tinatawag na vazing no an automated software testing uh, technique designed to uncover software bugs no to find new vulnerabilities to exploit developers should also incorporate this type of um, uh, type of technology mga fuzzing into their SDL process which will of course go a long way no harden the product enhances the security right so there are actually enormous of uh, open source you no know, fuzzing tools available uh, that developers can take advantage of you no know, such as yung american fuzzing loop yeah that's um thing that pwede nating i-approach when it comes to of course um checking the vulnerabilities you no know, and hardening our system right so again you no know, uh, of course especially you no know, we need with regards to zero days uh, discovered you no know, very profitable yan uh, for the attackers um malaki ang value niya no because of course when, once na unreported yan of course mas magiging uh, mas nagiging valuable pa siya sa sa mga threat actors okay then inside game no uh yeah so in response to evolving threat landscape many enterprises are leveling up uh, their security controls no adopting new technologies uh, processes strengthening their defenses uh, this enhanced controls make it uh, make it more difficult for the attackers to infiltrate no and network externally now giving this chance now we predict that attackers will continue uh, to shift no their tactics reconnaissance weaponization uh, with groups being recruit from inside target organizations so anyari dito is more on they're now trying to recruit no inside the organizations diba may mga tinatawag tayong insider threat no or mga insiders type of attack and 80 per, 80 to 90% of uh, successful attacks are actually um nag-start yan from uh inside the the network or the organizations no so uh one of the um expectation or insights that uh na pwede natin tingnan no is one of yung tinatawag na recruitment as a service though uh threat actors will also try to collaborate or try to recruit no um individuals inside the organizations so para at least uh yun mas ma, mas magiging quicker mas magiging uh, uh of course simplified yung approach nila pagdating dun sa sa attack no right yan so for multiplier of course in 2024 we expect to see attackers take advantage of more tailored and event driven uh, opportunities. Of course, now, pagdating just sa part ni yan, uh, again, probably one of those is, of course, the upcoming U.S. election, right? Isa yan. Of course, our elections as well, no? Every time na, uh, you will see yung trends, no? Every time na meron mga events or special events like the, like yung mga um, elections, no? Doon natin makikita yung spikes, no? When, with regards to uh, at, uh, attackers' activities, no? Yung mga cyber, cyber attack, mas dumadami sa sa mga time na na merong mga ganyang uh, uh, events right so probably we will we'll see more no uh, because of course um sa mga ganyang event maraming opportunities no for the attackers okay yeah so we anticipate that attackers will um continue to expand no and collect tactics and techniques and procedure no they used to uh, of course compromise their targets so nakita natin kanina ang daming techniques and strategy ng mga attackers then of course it will be it will continue no they will continually um uh, innovate no yung mga attacks nila yung mga tactics and procedures nila no uh, while most of the day no ang work ng isang cybersecurity defender is related to blocking those attacks those techniques no or indication of compromise no, it's actually a great value, no, in taking closer look sa mga TTPs, no, yung mga tactics or tactic techniques and procedures of the attacker, no, um, kasi this will also improve our playbook, right? So maganda rin na tinitingnan natin yung step step uh, step by step procedure nila, yung mga tactics procedure nila, right? Uh, using of course yung my uh, my ter um uh yung my ter uh, models, right? We can take a look at that at tingnan natin kung ano mga procedures ba ang ginagawa ng isang attackers, no? Or isang, uh, isang uh, let's say, um, isang uh, malware or ransomwares, no? Ano ba yung mga procedures ng mga yun? Maganda rin na inaaral to at uh, parang dinadigest, no? Ano yung mga steps na yon 
Kasi doon pala um, malaking bagay na yung information na yun that can help us block no, yung mga tactics and procedures na ginagawa ng mga hackers. Right? So, one of the, no, na pwede natin magamit is the attack flow project led by MITRE. No? This is actually uh, a threat uh, informed defense in collaboration with several partners, including Fortinet. No? Uh, it actually offers a security practitioner the chance to narrow the TTP, no? TTP's playing field. Right? The project is contributed are uh, creating data models designed to, of course, help uh, security community to find choke points, no? Uh, dun sa mga uh, nakita natin mga uh, threats, mga procedures, no? mga tactics of uh, cyber criminals. Okay? Yan. So, yeah, pwede natin magamit yon, no? Makikita natin yung models and procedures and that will help us, no? Yung mga informations na yon to how to stop uh, a uh, attack, no? Um, in fact, uh, as much as possible, if you can stop it at the reconnaissance stage, must better, right? Uh, kasi the more the 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 attack progress, no, uh, dun sa MITRE model, no, um, the more it is harder to uh, uh, to remediate the attack and the more expensive. So sa reconnaissance stage palang dapat nasa stop na natin siya. So that's why it's very important to understand the tactics and procedures of uh, of an attacker. Okay. Now, enhancing our <clears throat> our uh, collective resilience, so cyber criminals will uh, constantly find new uh, and more sophisticated way to uh, you know hack organizations. Still, we can take plenty of actions right in cybersecurity community to better anticipate their next move and disrupt their activities. Right from uh, from a greater <clears throat> public-private collaboration to more stringent. Incident reporting, no, uh, reporting standard. Here are the several ways to uh, collectively fight back against cyber criminals. So probably kanina we mentioned, of course, the uh, 2023 prediction that actually came through, no. And the next is the insights about 2024, no, possibly what to expect now with regards to uh, cyber criminal uh, activities. And of course, uh, we need also to en enhancing our collective resilience. Yes. Um, partnership and collaboration you know, to fight back against this uh, cyber uh, cyber type of attack. And one of those is, of course, um, uh, one of the most impactful action we can take is as an industry is to build partnership to facilitate easier information sharing. You know? Like this one, you know? like tung, uh, um event nating to, you know? um, thanks to Prix, uh, Prix Pro, you know? by, of course, sharing yung uh, itong platform, you know, uh, sharing about uh, cyber securities, right? And yung mga, um, of course, my insights about cyber securities, information, no? it's very important. So many efforts are underway to share knowledge and best practice across public and private sectors, right? To disrupt uh, threat actors. However, there is more work to be done and everyone has a role to play, right? I believe everyone has a role to play now. Now, Fortinet invests in meaningful resources in various global partnerships and actively uh, contributes to World Economic Forums no? and partnership against cyber criminal. Additionally, we worked with uh, WF early this year to launch what we call the Cyber Criminal Cybercrime Atlas, no? a project to this uh, design uh, to assist industry, no? law enforcer and government agency to disrupt attackers by providing new level of visibility into the global cybercrime ecosystem and infrastructure. So yan, pwede, na, pwede nyo isearch yan, Cybercrime Atlas. No? Uh, this is actually designed to, of course, assist us information about um, yung global uh, cybercrime ecosystem and infrastructure. No? Mga informations about the cybercrime. Okay? Another thing is, of course, strong partnership. No? Our only one piece of uh, puzzle in effective fighting cybercrime. In 2024 and beyond, we expect to see a few proposal policies changes comes to light. No? From mandating better cyber uh, defenses across selected indices, implementing more robust standards for uh, uh, for incident reporting. So, of course, no, meron mga bagong of, um, uh, tactics and procedures sa mga cyber at uh, ang mga hackers, right? Ang mga threat actors. So, of course, we need uh, a new proposed standards, no new policies. Now, probably within the 2024, no, uh, 
uh, magkakaroon niya no? may mga new standards and procedures uh, with regards to cybersecurity. Of course, that's very important. No? Uh, minsan kasi we, we need those standards uh, para at least ma-assess natin yung security gaps uh, with regards dun sa infrastructure natin, the procedures, no? baka may mga loopholes. So we need a standard, we need a reference no? uh, na, na policies um, that being uh, utilized or used worldwide. Right? <clears throat> then, and while collaboration and partnership is a strong regulations, no, are vital for fighting against global uh global crime, no. Uh every organization plays an integral part, no, in uh, disrupting the the ecosystem. Now start with of course creating a culture culture of cybersecurity resilience, making cybersecurity everyone's job, right? By implementing ongoing initiatives such as you know, enterprise wide uh, cybersecurity education programs and more focus no activities like a tabletop exercise for executive right yung mga cybersecurity awareness no yan very important yan that uh, we conduct yung mga cybersecurity awareness for the people to be aware no for our employees our colleagues to be uh, cybersecurity aware no um at least yung mga partner kasi at the end of the day uh, part pa rin yan di ba ng ecosystem yung people no um, kailangan natin matrain, kailangan natin maging uh, aware with regards to um, cybersecurity. Okay? Yeah. And of course, strategy, no? Security strategy with, of course, AI uh, capabilities, no? One of the things that you can consider with regards to strategy is, of course, secure, secure networking. In fact, with secure networking, we already doing this, no? Using firewall, then implementing security in the in the wireless, in the wired connectivity, di ba? Ginagawa natin yan. And this is a good practice, a good strategy for us, no? Uh, hindi lang, hindi lang on-prem, hindi lang in the infrastructure, but also in the cloud, right? Or in sa mga setup like work from home. Because right now, uh, makonsidered natin nowadays, no? Hyper-connected world tayo, no? We access application directly from our mobile phones, laptop devices, or <clears throat> by our... Uh, uh, network, right? Yeah, and so we we should consider, of course, basic no uh, secured networking. The next part is application security. Now we spin up application nowadays. Hindi lang sa on-prem, di ba? Meron tayong mga cloud infrastructure. Um, nagiging a uh, hybrid type of infrastructure tayo. We have on-prem application. We have you know uh your applications that reside sa mga cloud. And this is actually good innovations no sa IT, right? We we leverage yon kasi uh, in just a matter of few clicks meron ka na mga application no you can spin up application in a matter of few uh, few clicks in a in a matter of minutes but of course we also need to secure those applications right and mas nagiging ano pa no mas nagiging diverse because of course we have uh, applications na kailangan iprotect sa on prem and also in the cloud sa cloud environment we consider this as uh, another data center no we we should consider this another data center that we needs to protect no kailangan natin lagyan niya ng perimeter firewall security analytics and that's very important because nandiyan din yung mga data natin and application or assets right and the next part is implementing zero trust no yung mga zero uh, type of uh, approach no yung zero day, uh, zero trust networking or zero trust access right so sa part na to tong strategy na to is that uh, we should not, of course, no, uh, trust anybody that's accessing the application or the resources. Dapat lagi natin siya challenge, bina validate and bina verify, no. Kung sino yung um, users na yon, kung di ba siya compromise, no. Uh, siya, siya ba ay dapat may access don. So we should implement a zero trust approach in our infrastructure, right? So network security, application security, and of course user and device security, right? And of course. At the same time, we should enable our networking team, our security operation, you no know, level up their game, you no know, with with regards to monitoring, uh, response, you no know, napakahalaga niya. Like for example, incident response, uh, very important. So paano ba yung mga next step? How do we automate it? That's very important for the knock and the sock. And at the same time, ecosystem, right? Meaning interconnections, collaborations with uh, partner with vendors, you no. Know, uh, with security practitioners 
and security professionals. That's very important. Like for example, like as Fortinet, now we we conduct security awareness. No, um, very open kami dyan. If you need the security awareness for your people, um, uh, meron kami dyan, no? We can you know you can engage us anytime. And the good thing about it, we even have uh, a free training. No, for uh for of course for your employee. Uh, for cybersecurity professional. And it's actually a good uh, cybersecurity uh, training that you can use as an awareness program for your employee, right? And of course, uh, with this uh, strategy, no, yung tinatawag na secure networking, application uh, security, zero trust, right? Knock and sock operation, ecosystem. It should come with, of course, AI capabilities like AI-powered protection, right? For example, firewalling, um, SSE, WAF, EDR, those are very important. No, antiditos with AI powered capabilities. Nowadays, no, AI is um, actually being, I mean, 99% of organization nowadays will go AI, right? They will uh, use AI to, of course, uh, for, for their business at the same time for their processes. So, kailangan din sa security meron yan. In fact, uh, the others, yung sa other side, no, yung mga security, uh, yung mga uh, threat actors will use AI, right? And AI power detections, no, very important because, of course, in a matter of you know, uh, with just algorithms, behavior, no, it analyzes you know behavior, and learning your network, learning the behavior is very important, no. AI, with AI powered uh, detection, no, uh, to in in detecting, of course, we reduce, no, you mean time to detect. AI is one of the uh, AI power tool is one of the uh, key you now with regards to, of course, mean time to detect, right? Then AI powered analytics, they are very important. So, you know, analytics with threat analytics, of course, with regards to uh, so blue teams, you no, know, pag the thing dun sa threat hunting, right? Um, an analysis of uh, of behavior, you no, know? AI can help uh, pass face, you no, know? AI can help us, uh, yung pabilisin yung. Uh, yung yung detection na yun, no? uh, kaya niya pabilisin yung response at the same time, right? Siguro yung, uh, uh, yung detection that takes days or months, no? with AI, it capable of no, reducing it to hours and responding, uh, yung response that takes hours or even weeks, no? it can reduce it to, to minutes, right? Kasi in few minutes, like 30 minutes nga lang, di ba? Uh, mapapansin natin, ang dami ng possible na uh, um, pwedeng gawin ng attackers, no? Actually, baka naka-exfiltrate na siya ng data. In fact, once na breach ka, no? Di ba na-mention kanina, no? Uh, other threat actors or group of threat actors will also try to penetrate um, once na breach ka, no? Kumbaga, ibang-ibang group ang uh, magtatry mag-penetrate ng network mo kasi nga uh, nakita nila na penetratable ka, no? In fact, probably you access dun sa applications mo or sa infrastructure mo is being um ano no last dark deep web no binibenta so kung na approved talaga na yung uh, informations na yon no yung access to your network is legitimate no talagang uh, effective then probably other threat actors will try no will try to penetrate and try to uh, you know uh, get some data to your infrastructure but of course with powered ai operations and response no eto i automate nito mga response no you automate nito ang, uh, ang um, defenses mo. So it's very important to have a powered AI uh, tool sets no, or security strategy with AI. Okay? So yeah, uh, that's it for me. So thank you so much. Yes, thank you, Sir Jermaine. Very ano, a compact yet malaman na presentation for 2024. I wouldn't say maganda <laughs> per se because yung mga present niyo sa amin are very ano, alarming, so to speak. So, <laughs> yeah. medyo parang kukulangin tayo ng oras. Pero in a nutshell, padaanan lang po natin yung ating mga viewers. Ano, peaking tayo at 50, 60. Ang galing, hindi, hindi talaga bumibitaw ang ating mga view viewers for this episode. So, napakaganda ng performance. Going back, sir. Uh, may isang tanong tayo from Paak, Naga City. Which one po is more cost-effective to use? IDS intrusion detection system or intrusion prevention system for small business or local government unit offices data system? Well, um, 
with regards to that, nowadays kasi IDS and IPS, uh, nas, nasa isang platform na siya. No? So, uh, in fact, I would recommend that it should be bundled together. No? Dapat yung, for example, if you're going to acquire a, an appliance or a solution, yung dalawang yun dapat kasama na. No? Like for example, in a next generation firewall, it comes with IDS, IPS, uh, antivirus, no, uh, web filtering, no, magkakasama na yan sa isang platform. And I think uh, mas better yung ganung approach. No, you should go with, uh, with for example, a next generation firewall bundled with those features. So at least medyo hindi hindi lacking, no, kasi minsan pag IDS lang, uh, walang blocking. Unlike pag may IPS, yan, pwede niyang i-block yung mga yon, no. Thank you, sir. Sir, i-shout out ko lang yung mga supporters mo. EJ Uson, go brother Jermaine E. Flores. Okay. Uh, yeah, one of our avid uh, avid viewers, 7 Hosting PH. Magandang hapon, mga Kapix Pro. Sir Ian, good afternoon po. Uh, Lee Venso C. Pedra Blanca, good afternoon, Kapix Pro. Ben, uh, Isra A. Dacudaw, hello po. From Lukban. And good PM, Kapix Pro from Lumaban, Crystal. And thank you daw, Sir Michael. Uh, sir, uh, going back to the concepts that you presented a while ago, one is the most bothering for me, eh? and that would be the rise of the cyber criminals for hire. So why is there po that particular lure among our cyber professionals na instead of going to the, the good side, napupunta sila sa bad side? So coming from the perspective of a cyber security professional like you too po, I mean, Sir Homer, why do you think that was the case for 2024. Okay, thank, thank, thanks, Miss Arlene. Because I think, uh, in that case, kasi is, uh, well, well, looking at in yung sa ano natin, no? I mean, I'm, I'm looking at my personal opinion, no? on, 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 on this kind of case. Um, right now, because we're looking in, in, in the Philippines, talking about the Philippines right now, market, right? There's a lot of, you know, uh, and dami naghihirap in terms of work. So. In case instead of you know using their knowledge to you know to to go on the on the right side track now, so they're looking at this as a business in a way you know, to improve their lifestyle, buhay. Kaya kaya ganun yun nangyayari sa atin. Kung baga, pero if if they are kung baga parang sa atin kasi ang concept is isa yun sa mga factors on uh, which I think no. Pangalawa siguro yung ano um. Uh, yung mga policy no siguro yung mga regulation siguro kailangan din nating i-improve yung mga yung yung pag um, pagpataw ng mga ng mga uh, sa government natin siguro yung uh, uh, punishment on this kind of cyber kaya kaya lumalakas din yung loob ng iba to do this kind of business so that's on my personal uh, point miss Arlene i hope i answer your questions yes uh, i agree with uh, Homer no well sometimes of course uh, isa doon is financial no and uh, probably uh, isa rin doon is they want to try din yung kabilang side no for of course probably knowledge and information right but uh, what we need to do is of course um we need to also educate our people right uh, kailangan natin silang i-educate when it comes to of course cyber uh, cyber security no um yung about yung uh, moral values ethical diba yan mahalaga yan no hindi lang basta about technicalities no kailangan uh, inaano rin natin sila Kumbaga, inaangat din natin sila, right? When it comes to financial, at the same time, <clears throat> yung mga moral values din. No? And of course, yung mga security training awareness, very important yan also. Good points po. Actually, totoo po yan. Uh, last, a few weeks ago, we happened to had uh, to have the PNP Anti-Cyber Crime Group as one of our guests. And this is very valuable because... Sabi nga, this is not just about the whole of nation approach. This is all about whole of society approach. And like what you've mentioned, kapag sinabi natin society, this is basically not just about who belongs to a certain society, but in the entire in its entirety, including the values. So hindi lang dapat ang pinofortify natin, yung skill set and yung competencies, but also the values. Because kapag isa dyan ang napag-iwanan, uh, ano na mangyayari sa ating uh, kinabukasan? And this is very good po. And the good thing about your presentation, sir, which I hope you could share as well po, I, I believe one of the viewers mentioned that you have a full report 
uh, from Fortinet side, which is available online. Mm -hmm. And we can share this one out because we really want to educate everybody, not just our viewers, not just our uh, subscribers, but also even from the people from the communities to know what is going on in the cybersecurity realm. And yun nga, uh, we have to be very careful in what we do online, in what we do over the internet. And it is a good thing that we have people like Fortinet and our tech partners, and of course, FixPro to bridge the gap in terms yes. of creating cybersecurity awareness Correct. and cybersecurity education. Yes. Uh, Sir Habol ko lang. Prim Evangelista, Dukusin Idol, Jeremy, thank you for yes. a very informative session. Yeah. Sir, very informative. Parang kailangan yes. natin mag-part two kasi kulang yes. ang oras. Pero siguro to, uh, <laughs> to cut this session, what would be your final message and hopefully an opening message to everyone uh, on how should we address cybersecurity for 2024 and beyond? Okay, siguro mauna muna ako before I leave to ano to Jeremy no yung topic. Siguro sa akin ang ang I would advise no yung sa atin kumbaga we cannot stop. I mean the messaging is we cannot stop itong mga bad guys no to do and you know evolve and you know upgrade. Um, yun yan, na mention yung mga reasons earlier. We cannot stop them. So, ang nakikita ko lang dito is one thing na mention mo din kani awareness nung, nung bawat isa sa atin. Uh, it it will come from us na knowledgeable about the IT. Kumbaga, we can extend it to our family, to our neighbors, to our relatives, yung mga matatanda na hindi, alam mo yun, yung mga simple text. We, we can start from there, eh, no? Uh, as as a simple ano to kumbaga parang we try to you know protect ourselves na mabiktima ng uh, this cyber crime no we start from from ourselves from our family relatives close and organization wise naman na mention na din ni, ni ano kanina ni Jeremy no we have to protect definitely yung security posture we have to revisit it kumbaga share in the knowledge baka may kulang pa kayo how to improve more so we keep on learning on that kumbaga hindi lang sila dapat tayo we have to be on a de very different side as well. Kumbaga, stop natin. I mean, if we cannot stop them from what they're doing, I mean, we stop on from, from ourselves. You know, that, that's from my side. Thanks, Arlene. Thank you, sir. Sir Jermaine? Yep. Mm -hmm. For me, additional from uh, what Homer's, I don't know, uh, na share na information is one, of course, uh, bukod doon, of course, partnership, right? Very important. No? Sharing information no, about the cybersecurity landscape, no? about the threats like this one like what what we're doing right now no with of course capix pro diba uh, very important uh, because uh, nowadays we need to be informed ko ano na bang nangyayari no and at the same time this also uh give us the knowledge no what to do right dun sa mga um kung may mga ganyan type of uh, you know attacks like for example no partnership with you know uh, a firm no a security uh, professionals that can do you know uh, let's say gap assessment, reassess assessment, no? yeah, very important yan, no? uh, yung mga yan kasi can, you know, can build strategy, no, kung meron mga, kung mag-execute kayo ng, uh, like for example, if you're going to acquire iba mga solutions, first you, you need to understand first, ano ba yung, ano ba yung risk dun sa environment ko, di ba? Ano ba yung uh, kulang, no? Ano ba yung uh, ano ba yung status ngayon ng security and organization namin? So we need to understand that. So how can we do that? Of course, we collaborate. We partner, right? So that's very important. And another thing with partners, no? marami, kasi, marami kasi tayong pwede makuha sa partnership, right? Nandiyan yung care, eh, no? Like for example, yung na-mention kanina, security awareness. That's very important for our people, no? At the same time, yung building up our strategy, no? Strategy with regards to security, incident response, risk management no yung mga ganyan of course sa partnership din natin makukuha yan di ba then uh, another thing is of course yung yung, uh, yung mga technologies no innovations probably we also need guidance from some expert to guide us with regards to how to how to uh, um, effectively use this uh, technology kanina na mention may question no uh, can we use IDS instead of IPS or IPS IDS well in fact merong combined solution no and that's that's uh, information is very important no uh, kasi of course um ang ang bagay doon is uh, syempre nakatulong tayo doon sa infrastructure no infrastructure ng isang organization that they need to defend yung organizations na yon no so that's why again partnership is very important yeah thank you sir Jeremy. Uh, last few uh 
uh, shout outs coming from our viewers from Frederick Vonda training fortinet training.fortinet.com is a nice place to learn uh from Alex Adalom Lodi and from I, I guess we will end this with this final message hi din nga po pala from 7 day hosting security awareness is the key yeah. since cybersecurity is everyone's responsibility Agreed. and with that maaasahan niyo po na ang team fortinet at of course yeah. ang inyong fix for barkada ay lagi na rito para po kayo ay turuan i-educate kwentuhan regarding cybersecurity. Maraming maraming salamat po Sir Jermaine and Sir Homer for always being there with us. Kada kami po ay nag-iimbita sa ating kwentuhan cybersecurity. Maraming salamat po. Always welcome. Thank you, Miss Arlene welcome. and the rest of Capix Pro. Thank, Thank you. you very much for yeah. watching. Thank you very Thank much, Team Fortinet. And like what we always say here in Pix Pro, even in 2024, kung ang iba, pag weekend, nagpapahinga, nagiging busy sa atin dito sa cybersecurity. Miss Len, are you ready? Happy lang. Happy lang. Walang, walang, walang weekend. 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 Magandang hapon <laughs> at maraming maraming salamat mga Kapix Pro. Thank you, Team Fortinet and have a great Saturday and Sunday, everyone. Yes. Enjoy weekend. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.